Uh oh, someone brought me another thing to work on. Um, God, I really need to get a shop. <laughs> Everybody in town's been like, hey, we need this done and this and that and this, this. Got, we've got an engine rebuild going on in here for the neighbor's truck. Neighbor's truck. Neighbor's uh, Camry. See, we did a uh, fuel pump on a Super Duty. I think you guys already saw that. As of right now, I haven't posted it yet, but this video will come out after that. Um, I've just been busy with working on other other uh, vehicles and I haven't had really had time to edit or post videos. This thing's been driving okay, but um, the owner uh, had the clutch done about a year ago and he's kind of having some issues with it. Um, he thinks that somebody put a used, a good used clutch in there. Um, so, anyways, he went to uh, freaking the, the Toyota dealer and got clutch. We got a clutch disc and a uh, pressure plate. Um, I was kind of hoping he would do a flywheel, but apparently all the stuff he's got there is about $500. So, <laughs> my first plan of attack, I just disconnected the battery and I found this. Probably fix I'm going to fix this. I'm actually going to extend this wire a little bit so it's not so short and getting pulled on. Looks like that one's okay. I'm going to actually get that one down further. That's not... That's kind of tickered. But anyways, that's a whole separate issue. Um, so, I want to get the shifter out of here, first thing. So it looks like we just have four little cross pointers. Uh, two on this side and there's two on the other. Um, so, I want to get this out of here. Um, I don't really want to mess with stuff too much. I just want to get the this back, get the shifters unbolted, and that would be good to go there. Um, and then, I was looking under here, this is gonna, this is not too bad. Who's honking at who? Stop that. Um, I'm looking under here, and so far, I don't think we'll have to remove the exhaust. I, I would like to leave that in there. Um, but we'll need to disconnect the drive shaft here. Uh, and then, you know, unhook our speedo cable there. I wonder if that'll unthread. <laughs> and I can take that out without it, uh, you know, leaking oil all over the place. <laughs> um, and then, let's see. Front drive shaft needs to be disconnected. And there's a little bracket there that the exhaust is attached to. And all the transmission bolts look easy to get to. We have an external slave cylinder, which I think we can just um, unbolt and take off. So, I mean, there really isn't a whole lot to it. Um, but what I would like to do, um, and I'm just going to unbolt this cross member, put the trans jack right in here, and ratchet strap it down in two or three different places. Um, and just to remove it that way. Um, but what I was thinking of doing is um, possibly just undoing the uh, sway bar frame bracket mounts and just drop the sway bar down. Um, that way it'll give us a little more room. I don't think we'll need to undo the links, but we can just undo the frame brackets and then this bar will come down. And when this comes down, um, we should have plenty of room to get the uh, Transmission on here, but I'm I'm just gonna do the cross member and everything all in one one shot. I think we can do it. Um, and you know we don't even really need to take the transmission out of here. It just needs to come down and back. <clears throat> Let's see. Or we can actually. Oh, here we go. So we'll uh, undo those four bolts there. That holds the. Uh... Can you see? And the camera's like, nope. There's four bolts there holding the training mount to the cross member. You can get the cross member out of here, and uh, I think I'll do that. That'll be the most as I go. I did notice there's some stuff disconnected here. Um, this switch, I wonder what, I wonder what it's for. I bet you it's for his reverse lights. Wouldn't that be funny? Oh, I don't know my reverse lights don't work. Well, uh, that's unplugged. Um, 
overall it looks pretty easy all the bolts are easy to get to for the most part um yeah uh, oh man can you imagine having to do an oil pan you'd have to drop the diff but it looks like it drops out pretty easy i will say working on toyotas recently uh um pretty decent to work on one thing he was the owner of this was talking about is uh, cv shafts um he had somebody replace them and i can tell they've been replaced because um, there's still some shiny metal left but somebody made a comment saying that oh you know those uh you know new cv shafts shouldn't rust that long but you know what Um, I think that one's been replaced. This one, on the other hand, doesn't look like it's been replaced. But I got the sun or light in my eyes. <laughs> but that one I can tell has been replaced. Um, but anyways, that's kind of separate from this whole deal here. <laughs> I've got this up on jacks just to give me some more room. Um, it's already got a decent amount of room under here at least it's not like the Explorer uh, yeah I think all the bolts we can get to not too not too bag um, I'm gonna try and leave the exhaust here it's not really in the way it's just getting this bracket out of the way and um, I just don't want to mess with um, that's the studs up there I really like that they put the white pipe on top of the transmission instead of underneath it. It's kind of kind of a safety thing too. You don't have to worry about hot exhaust right here heating up. Oh, I don't know, dry grass. Got the converters way down here. They're like, ooh, there's no sensor for it. You could just you could just get rid of it. <laughs> this is before the cat. No after the no after cat. Someone's someone's done some exhaust work. Okay. I think the sun's gonna come out here in a little bit today. Yesterday was a little brutal, uh, working on that other Toyota. screws on one place Look. drop them let's see Okay, and then we've got one, two, three, four screws. Right there. Two right there. Screen you can't see that I'm removing, but hey, I showed you where they are. This boot's getting ready to come out. It's like, yeah. Remove me, please. Okay, do these thread off? Yes, thank you, Toyota. These thread off. This stuff needs to get out of my way.
It's got a little lip that you gotta get over the over the stick shift. Come on now. Oh. <laughs> we use a uh, silicone spray to get those back on. Sorry, buddy. Got to tilt the steering wheel. Okay. What do we got to do to get these out? Is it that, that easy? What? <laughs> it's in first gear. I'm gonna get it, I got a neutral. Huh. Okay, that was not expected to be that easy. Well, this has a snap ring holding it in there. Okay, so let's. What happens if we throw a flathead screwdriver in there? Those older Fords, like the old four speed they used to have. Holy crap, trying to get that thing to push down. Total nightmare. It's a, got a spring, spring on my spring in deal here. And then that comes out. Cool, we got some schmoo up in there, might clean that. Trying to get the customer's car dirty. Um, let's see, we need to get a couple of gloves. Put that over there, or we could do that. Keep dirt from getting down there. Okay, that up here. All right, 12 millimeter. Let's see if we can get this thing to drop for us. I can literally smell it burning cooling. Oops. Okay. Oh man. That one's in there pretty good. Look at this bushing, I hope it's not split. Yeah, I totally got cool in that. It stinks. And there she goes. Okay. Got the front out. Um, these are 14 and 14. Um, they were on pretty tight. I had to uh, put a wrench in here and go up against the transmission and use a long ratchet to break it free, but I got it. And then ran it the rest of the way with the uh, impact. Oh, and that got it out. And then over here, one of those studs is a little galled up, but still got threads here, so. Excited it. But anyways, um, this, also 14 millimeter, um, got that apart with uh, the long ratchet. Um, the only thing is the drive shaft, which is just resting over here, um, it, there's just enough room to get it out of here. Um, I had to wiggle it a little bit and I finally got it out. Um, just a little bit of a pain. But now that that's out, I think we can go to our next step and do the, uh, this bracket here, get this off. Um, and try and get all the transmission bolts loose. Um, I don't think, I don't know if the starter bolts into the um, transmission. We're gonna find out here in a moment. Um, I thought from a video that I looked at or a picture that the uh, starter was up on the dry top driver's side 
So hopefully we don't have to mess with that. I kind of feel like the starter's over there on that right hand side, passenger side. <clears throat> oh my arms are so tired. Uh, yeah, so we'll see if that interfaces with the transmission. I think it does. Hopefully the bolts aren't too much of a bitch to get to. Uh, but I want to just try and get all the transmission bolts out. Or at least loose. And then what we'll tackle next is getting this... We'll get the, first we'll get the jack in here. Get it up against the transmission here. And then we'll uh, remove this cross, cross member here. And then uh, we can start wiggling the transmission out. We're uh, make, making quite a bit, quite a bit of pro uh, progress so far. All right, so far I've got the mat, the slave cylinder disconnected. Um, twelve meter, twelve millimeter bolts. Now, you can see where my wrench is. That's the lower starter bolt, and the other one is actually. Right there, straight ahead. And you can actually get up in there um, and get a wrench on that. It's a little tight, but I was able to crack it free. <sighs> Woo! Okay, I did get this little bracket uh, free. Despite how rusty that is, it turns uh, not by hand, but it'll, it turns easy with the wrench, though, or the ratchet. So yeah, Whew, fun stuff. All right, tubes, I've got almost all the bolts broke loose. Um, the, the top ones are a little bit of a struggle because I can't get enough leverage on them. So what I'm gonna do now is we're gonna remove this cross member and uh, well, we're gonna get a jack under here and support this get the cross member out of here and we're gonna lower the transmission and engine down just a little bit and it should be able to get up in there and actually um, you know if I'm lucky I might be able to get the half inch impact up in there and zap those out of there and then from there it's just pulling the transmission <laughs> starters out a um, little bit of a fight because the one bolt fought all the way till the end and it's clean it's like okay well screw you so anyways, um, yeah, we got this cross member out of here. I think I'll set you up on a tripod so you can just see me do a little bit of work. <sighs> oh, they're just, they're just little skimpy little bastards. It's free from this now. Okay, let's see if we can. Get this off now. Should we break torque on it and then rattle it out? So after this, I got uh, four days of work. I'm gonna leave one hanging. I'm almost thinking about getting the breaker bar. I'm doing this with hand tools. <laughs> I 
she goes. All right, we're about two hours into this so far. Um, I'm about ready to go clean up and get lunch. Um, so I got all the bolts out. Um, this side was tricky. I unbolted this little bracket here and move some of these lines around so you know just be careful you don't bend them too much I bend them just a little bit so I can get my um, use that cup I use an assortment of tools here I got this in there um, and then use the jack handle to just you know click it and it breaks it free and then I got in there with a smaller ratchet and was able to get them undone the other side over here um, there's a uh, where is it? This guy is up kind of right in here. It's like a, another splash shield, also an exhaust uh, shield. Um, so I got in here and I was able to break this one free with the breaker bar. And then the one in the back, I'd use the big um, ratchet. Once I got that one clicked free, I got in there with a smaller ratchet and I was able to get that out. Um, and then like, all the others are easy to get with like the impact. But uh, this transmission is free. Um, the electrical harness that goes to this guy right here, this used, goes on top of the transmission. You have two of these connectors go to the transmission, and this one right here goes to the O2 sensor before the catalytic converter. Um, I unplugged all that and brought it over here so it's out of the way. Uh, everything should be disconnected. Our slave cylinder is out of the way. Um, starter's undone, starter's laying back, and that's why I have the battery disconnected so we don't have any sparky monarchies. So, uh, let's get this transmission out of here and go to lunch. hour break just to rest my uh, rest my bones Let's see. Uh, what do we got here oh this is his receipt Woo! oh good we got a bearing assembly disc clutch it was a hundred and one dollars uh, pressure plate was a hundred and sixty the Clutch slave is $115. Jeez, that's all uh, Toyota parts there. So we got this is a remanufactured disc. We got this all from Toyota. Look at that, Toyota. Oh, she's already lubed up and ready to go. And I just smoothed my hands on there. Kind of a small clutch. But, okay. All right, I gotta sit. <clears throat> okay. Uh, also need, actually I think we have brake clean. We have a new rear main seal, we're gonna put that in. Let's see. What's this? This should be the throw out bearing for the training. Lexus, genuine parts. Yeah, that looks like it. actual bearing part. Cool. All genuine Toyota parts. 
Um, the clutch in it is was done last year, but I forget what he hit the actual complaint was, but I think he just wants it redone. It may, could be slipping or it could be chattering, who knows. It's got a uh, <laughs> made in Korea clutch, so it could be like a L-U-K or something. And this is our new pressure plate. Yep, Toyota, Azen. And we'll need to wipe this down with some brake cleaner or some kind of um, inhibitor remover. Um, it looks like it's got a newer flywheel on it, so I think as long as it's not messed up, um, we can go ahead and clean it up and just put this stuff in. So, let's go under the uh, Forerunner here and um, see what we got for a clutch. Alright, we're in the belly here. Is that a catalytic converter? That little junction right there. Can you imagine? You're like, oh yeah, your uh, your stupid catalytic converter is messed up. So it looks like a newer flywheel to me. Um, I've really only been using three different sizes for this: uh, 12 millimeter, 14, and 17. So I want to say this is going to be a 14. So. Let's see, where did our uh, 14 go? I am sitting crisscross in here and it's, it's a bit tight. Uh, got any scary nonsense going on with the engine? It's probably I did have the heads done at one point. So I'm gonna go crisscross to keep it even. Um, Oh, you know what Toyota didn't give me? An alignment tool. Uh, this will be fun. Alright. I'm going to have to eyeball it. Is that. There's that one. You can't break a bolt list without smacking the back of your hand. This battery might be due for a little recharge. It's got a PHC Vallejo. Clutch, I wonder who actually makes this one. Oh, that was pretty loud. Oh yeah, look at that clutch. Somebody's uh, done the old scuffaroo on it. Someone put too much anesthesia on it, flung out that way. We do have to get this flywheel off of here anyway, so. Um, now let's take a look at the uh, pressure plate. Pressure plate's barely worn in. The air gun uh, hose for it is leaking. <coughs> so, close your ears. Oh. 
This has got a new rear main seal on it. I think, well, I got a new one to put in there. I don't want to take this off. Um, it's usually the easier way to do it, but we uh, might leak some oil out and uh, yeah, I could probably get in there with the seal puller and yard that out and then tap the new one in. All right, went to the Appa and got some Let's uh, clean out this flywheel. paper towel. Oh, I'm gonna get this cleaned up and uh, make sure it's free of oil. Looks like it wasn't cleaned very good. Still dirty. Okay, that's good. Let's do the uh, pressure plate. out of here. I have RTV. I could goop this up. Um, well, let's see if we can pry it out of here. Oh yeah, look at that. No special tools required, baby. <laughs> Got a little bit of grease here. Let's put a little bit on there. And this goes like that. And then we're going to take our little hammer here. Gonna make it flush with the deal here. Look at that. Brand new rear main seal. This one was this one was replaced. So somebody did an okay job the last time. Um, I think the, the the complaint is clutch feel. So I think the uh, owner was thinking that maybe somebody put a used clutch in here or maybe didn't replace it um, but that is not the case this flywheel goes on one way <clears throat> there are two bolts right here that are uh, closer together than the rest Looks like we're lining up. Um, I'm gonna put some fresh, or some Loctite on here. That'll be 
probably good enough. Of course, not having this clean um, can uh, give you some problems. Looks like someone just sanded it down. Um, God, I wish he would have gotten a new flywheel. We would have been way better off, but okay. Where's that other clutch disc at? I kind of need it for reference. I think it looks pretty straight. Okay, that looks really good. Sending it. We're just gonna get these started. And then we'll crank them down. Yeah, it looks pretty good. And then once we uh, get in there, we'll push the clutch in a couple times and let it kind of find itself. We'll go crisscross. Damn, I think I got that dead on. Okay. Okay, we're not done quite yet. We're gonna put this last piece in. And we're good to go. So I had asked him to get a uh, clutch slave for this. You know, you know, just in case it's a problem while I'm doing this job. Um, I'm going to, um, not, I'm not really worried about it because I thought this was internal, that's why I had him get the thing. Um, so I'm actually going to just have him, uh, re you know, return that slave. So I don't think it's necessary. this left in there back like that and then this one over here clips yeah they just slide in behind the fork there's still a Good amount of grease on there. Not too worried about it. it. Moves freely. Yeah. There we go. Hey guys, we got her back together. Bit of a fight, but I got it. Um, I had to. Uh, I got kind of got the transmission mostly aligned. Got it in there. Got a couple bolts started just slightly. Um, pushed on the clutch a couple times, and then I was able to get the rest of the bolts in and actually run it down. So it kind of aligned the clutch a little bit. 
because that shaft was right at the bearing, but it didn't want to go in all the way because it was slightly off. But once that clutch just kind of moved a little bit, it let the whole thing go right in. Um, so I got to put this guy back in there. And then I got the drive shaft and everything hooked up. I need to put the shifter stuff back together, throw the tires back on, hook the battery up, and uh, I'm gonna, I'm actually gonna take a shower and change my clothes. And I'll take this thing for a shake and uh, hopefully uh, the new clutch doesn't uh, have any problems. All right, let's see if I did a good job or not. I'm gonna take it out of gear and let it roll back and then push the, put the clutch out and see what it does. Well, it's alive. Brakes are good. Turn ching dolls work. Break it out of clutch. Smells like a Toyota. None of his gauges work. It's because of his ground wire. He's got a turbo ticker. I know he's got a bad ground wire, or a wire that's not hooked up. I'm gonna reattach that and see if that's part of his problem. He has no gauges. Fuel gauge and speedometer, that's all he has. Now, comparing this to the five-speed Jeep Cherokee that I worked on uh, recently, the one with the water pump, oh my god, this thing is a Cadillac compared to that thing. Take her up uh, the highway here, make sure we're good.
tricky. Um, the shifter's not floppy, so I don't know. Watch is grabbing good. Um, I'm gonna reattach that ground wire that I noticed was undone. It's, it goes from the battery to the chassis. I'll make sure we're good there. Otherwise, he has no gauges. So, I don't know. It's a 94 4Runner that runs and drives better than an Explorer. I like, and the seats are comfortable too. It's got a little bit of play in the steering. thing. It's comfortable. Alright, tubes. Catch you next time.